Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering questions from this paper, which is the um, June 2024. This is the replacement paper. I think that's what it means, R, the R here. So there is a June 2024 paper, okay, and then there's, there's the R version. So this is the R version of that June 2024 paper. And I'm going to be answering the questions uh, from this paper, and I'm going to be answering them one by one, saving them as separate videos, and saving them in playlists, um, referring to topics as well as the actual paper itself. And as I mentioned before many times, I'm going to go through these questions, sometimes in some detail, focusing on some like um, points where students make errors, and um, focus on points where some students have asked me certain questions so I can help to use it as a, as a teaching tool. Okay, so question number one. Here we're told to integrate with respect to x whatever's inside this bracket. So we have to first of all make sure that every term is in a form which is conducive to be differentiated, uh, integrated. Okay, so half x cubed is fine, negative four is fine, it's 3 over root x. We have to rewrite this in a way that is conducive for integration. So basically, anything in third form must be written in index form. So I'm going to write this as 3 over x to the power of a half. Because we know that the square root of x is equal to x to the power of a half. Why? Because x to the power of a half times x to the power of a half gives you x. So the square root of x is x to the power of a half. Okay, in general, you can say x, the nth power of, the nth root of x is going to be x to the power of 1 over n. And if you have, for example, the nth root of x to the power of m, x to the power of m, then this will give you, this power is going to be the numerator, and the root is going to be the denominator. So that's in general how you can write, write rewrite these things in index form, from third form to index form. When we are integrating or differentiating, we must write things in terms of index form. And the other thing must be that the number that's in the, uh, if you have an xm in the denominator, must be written in the numerator. So the, you can think of this as 3 over 1 times 1 over x to the power of a half. So this becomes 3x to the power of negative a half. 1 over x to the power of a half is x to the power of negative a half from our understanding that 1 over x to the power of n is the same as x to the power of negative n. These are from some of the laws of indices that we should be very uh, familiar and proficient with. Okay, so we're going to integrate with respect to x, a half x cubed plus 3x to the power of negative a half minus 4 with respect to x. So now everything's ready to, to be integrated once you start integrating, you stop writing the integral sign. So to integrate, we add 1 to the power. So we have a half x to the power of 4 over 4. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Plus 3x to the power of, you add 1 to negative a half, gives you positive a half. Okay, it's like minus a half plus 2 over 2, which is 1 over 2. Then you divide by the new power, so you divide by a half. And any constant term just gains, gains an x. So this... 4 becomes 4x. And don't forget, if it's an indefinite integral like this, there's no limits here to put in. You must put plus c. Okay, so now we can uh, continue. So you have a half times x to the power 4 over 4, which is 1 over 8, x to the power 4. And when you're dividing by a fraction, it's like you multiply by its reciprocal. Okay, so 3 divided by a half is 3 times 2 over 1. And 3 times 2 is 6, so this gives you 6x to the power of a half. And you've got minus 4x and plus c. So here we have our answer to the question on question number 1 from this R paper of June 2014. Um, other questions from this particular paper will be found in the playlist that will appear in the top right of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of integration from... Um, uh, my P1 collection of Edexcel, you can find in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And on the top of the screen here, you will find a video which tells you how to use my channel 
to find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.